Ah! <gasps> There's so many things. There's so many things. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Afterlife SMP. So last episode, we built ourselves a wonderful storage room and then also headed to the end. Well, it wasn't even an intentional thing. We were kind of tricked. Oh, this is, this is cool. Not, this isn't going to hurt us. Right? Oh, so what's the limit the on this? I think so. Oh, 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 but I was one of the survivors of the end. Rest in peace, our fallen origins. But we managed to make it there and back safely. Now, for this episode, I am planning on building a greenhouse. But it's not any greenhouse. This is going to be my bee and butterfly sanctuary. I have in my head that I really want this big kind of glass and blue greenhouse. And I mean, I, I'm literally a moth. Like, if I get free housing, I need to do it for my brethren, you know? I also have these brand new Cincinnate tools that I made with some of the Cincinnate I got. And I also moved over all of my things to the storage house. So I'm going to head over there, grab some wheat and such, and then go and feed the cows so that I get enough food. Because otherwise I'm going to starve. Okay, I have a bunch of wheat. We're going to head over to the cows and start breeding them. And then, whoa. You can't do anything with this stupid scarecrow. I'm what are you doing? Excuse me, ma'am. This, is, this is my wheat field. Why are you here? I'm trying to steal your wheat, but I hate this thing. My scarecrow? It's, it's scary. He's I not scary. Attempt. Don't attack my scarecrow. No, no. Leave him be. He's so cute. Stop it. Stop it's it. Doing... <laughs> Back away uh, from the scarecrow, ma'am. Let's go. I will burn that scarecrow one day. <laughs> we'll burn it to the ground. Please do not. Please leave my crops alone. <laughs> why do you have glowberries? Martin, why have you? <laughs> why? Oh, I'm sorry. Do these take a long time to grow? A little bit, but they also keep mobs from spawning. But it's fine. You've oh. taken them now. You can't put them back. The I damage also has accidentally been done. ruined some, so you might need to. <laughs> I didn't understand how to harvest them. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Why were you here? Was it just to annoy me? Was that your goal? I saw in one of your videos that you used this thing to keep birds away. And it's obviously I, I, working. <laughs> I assumed you meant me, so I had oh. to I had to come prove you wrong. <laughs> How did but that you were go? actually right. That yeah. thing is terrifying. <laughs> I actually meant the nor other birds, but I mean if it works double ways, I'll take it. Oh. But instead of you murdering him, because I love him a lot and would die if he died. What about if I give you something else instead? I don't think there's anything that you can give me that would make me not want to murder that thing. What, about Ooh, what is that? Is that an egg? <laughs> it's a big egg. Is egg? <laughs> it's a big egg. Is that a purple egg? It's a purple egg. We'll oh, put it what down. What is that? Oh! Oh, purple egg. It's beautiful. Would this, would this mend any relationship issues? <laughs> Yes, I will give you anything for this. I would die for this. What about you just don't try and kill my scarecrow or okay, me? Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably easier than dying. <laughs> yes, um, don't break it. That's not you break it. I need to, I was like, you're about to send it into the void if you touch it. Da, 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 da. Oh. And that's for you. Oh, it's so tiny when I throw it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I throw it, it goes so drag. little. It's a dragon egg. It is. You trust me with this on the server? <laughs> I mean, I have I no use for it. I'm a moth. What am I going to do with it? What if I spawn the dragon and it eats you? That's not... You don't need the dragon egg to spawn the dragon, Lauren. Oh, what do I do with it? It's just decor. Oh, I thought I could spawn a dragon! No! I mean, maybe... No! I mean, maybe because you're such a good chicken mom and you sit on it for a while, something might happen, but like... Wait. Can I place this down or will it break it? If you place it down and punch it, it will then teleport. You need to drop it onto a torch. What? <laughs> Magic's gonna happen. You just wait. You know, of all things I thought that would happen today, this this wasn't this wasn't one. Me sitting on my dragon egg? You, one day this will hatch. You on an egg in the middle of my farm in the rain at night was not Does what I had in my vision board. Does it intimidate you? I'm so Are the thunder. Scared? The thunder is scarier, honestly. It's going with the rate you're moving. I'm gonna sit mm. on this every day. Uh huh. Maybe you do that at your until house. Until it hatches. Oh. If 
my feelings towards you may have changed. I don't I don't know if I can hate you now. This is the greatest gift I have. See, received. no one else can give you this because it's a one of a kind item. Also, look how small it is when I throw it. And it's so little. <laughs> and then it gets so big. The only other person I know that mentioned wanting it, so I would just be wary, is Ollie. Well, to be fair, there was actually a whole fight for it between Joel, Jimmy, Ollie, and that, but Ollie was the only one at the end who said he wanted it. But you can take Ollie. Yeah, that's true. I could take him. I believe in you. Thank you for the warning. I will keep an eye out for Ollie. And I believe. Make sure I have defenses. Yep. Defend the egg, Lauren. Defend the egg. Okay. It is my child now. I believe in you. Thank, thank you, Scott. Goodbye. Um, it's actually kind of scary. I think I'm just going to spend the night in your house. This is my windmill. I have a basement if you'd rather stay there. It's a bit creepier, though. I like creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I just haven't seen your house. I'm just going to come, come explore. This is my cracked, I mean, nether hub. Oh my god. <laughs> this is where I grew all my nether plants. <laughs> it's chaotic and beautiful down yep. here. I like it. This is my little secret dealer den. If you need any wow. nether plants, you come to me. This is like a speakeasy for nether plants. The way that that whole interaction 100% makes sense for Lauren. Nothing of that, nothing of that confuses me. I mean, it does a little bit, but like at the same time, it's Lauren, so yeah. Okay, so inside here, we now have all of the chests and currently there is no labels on anything, but I know that like this is spruce wood, this is birch, this is oak, this is dark oak. And then over here, I have crafted things up here as mob drops and all my diamonds and shiny things are in here. It's chaos, but it's me chaos, so I understand it. Eventually I will make item frames for them all, but I eat the leather that I get, so it's kind of hard to have a leather collection. So for my butterfly house, I have cleared out this area. I'm planning on building the big greenhouse here, and in the time I was clearing out all of this stuff, a bunch of butterflies were just like appearing. So I do have a backpack full of already different sized butterflies, which is great. And I also, in this backpack, have all of the items I need. It's a lot of glass. I'm also noticing another butterfly. See, this is great. Maybe they'll just naturally spawn in here. But I've basically just been anytime I've seen a butterfly sneaking up and then shoving it in a ball. It's fine. It's temporary housing before I build them their mega mansion. But I think this space is big enough. The building kind of goes from like here along and down and then the front door is kind of around here. And that means I can eventually connect a path up and then I'll bring the path like around to the Enchanted Grove and up here and it'll connect these three areas all into one, which is nice. I have realised that if I get an origin next that does not have a glide or a movement ability, getting around this area is just going to take a lot longer because so far I've just been flying. But that's part of the fun. So let's cut to the time lapse. As you've seen from the time lapse, we're done. We have our greenhouse. So I used a mix of the mossy glow shroom logs from the end and also some nether blocks just to sort of give differentiations in the blues. And I think it worked out really, really cute. Now, obviously the interior is currently empty and I am going to do what I usually do and will go and work in this, make it all pretty and then come back to you. But I'm going to try and incorporate a bunch of different flowers, a bunch of different leaves and maybe put in some water or something just to make it all look super cute. So let's go to that. And here we are. As you can see, if we go in here, this is what we're working with. I used a bunch of different end plants that I could plant in the overworld, like these lilies and these hanging plants. I also went out and managed to find some bees and some beehives. So I've put them in here and they will eventually pollinate and fly around and have a good time. Some of these plants give off light, which is great. And then I've also hidden around some torches underneath some moss carpet to just light up as you can see at night. And now we just need to release the butterflies. I spent a bunch of my levels to name them all, so let's just run through them. Poppy, Kiara, Jeremy, Martha, Benny, Petal, Binky, Hera, Belle, Buttercup, Jasmine, Lola, Anissa, Elodie, Merida, Kyra, Tiana, Laurie, and Lottie. 
And now, as you can see with all these wonderful butterflies filling the area, we have a lovely butterfly garden. Look how cute this place is. As you can see, you can hover over the butterflies and see their names, and hopefully that will stop them from despawning. But I just love this. I feel so at home. Look, if I just do a little flutter, me just in my butterfly garden surrounded by little butterflies. This is adorable. And then lastly, I have this little guy called Biggie, who's actually a dragonfly. I called him Biggie because he's so little, but he's also super fast, so he's really hard to like find where he's gone. I've lost him. I don't know where he is. He's in here somewhere though, and that's all that matters. I must say that looks pretty dang cool if I do say so myself. It's very, very like cyan blue, but I think that works really well. If it was too much glass, it would look too obscene. I think this fits really nicely contrasting against the green and I can always add more plants and such to it as I need them. So I've been busy and built myself a brand new thing in the area and that is a little island. I decided to build myself one of the little floating islands that I eventually plan on putting everywhere just to sort of see how it would look. And I think this has come out really well. I went for a kind of cuter, like shallow floating island. I may bring out this edge again a little bit more so it's not like three blocks flat but it's hard to do when you are a a block tall and b can't really see around you i also have then attached it over here with a bridge and then also up here i mean i know this one you could technically just run around but either way i did it i also added some paths up here and into here so that's pretty good now one thing i am lacking in this area i mean i'm lacking many things but like one thing I'm definitely lacking is some villager stuff. But I don't have the means to contain villagers or cure them. So my thought is we head to the nether, grab some blaze rods, and then it means I can make some weakness potions. Now, because I'm going into the nether and I don't really want to lose my stuff if for whatever reason something bad happens, I'm just gonna shove like everything into here, except my food. And I will just pop this backpack in here for now, grab myself some torches, and then I'll just kind of grab some of the like spare stuff I have, like an iron sword, a shield, an axe, an extra pickaxe, some torches, and that should be good. I should, I should have enough things. I've still got my armor on. So I have a few bits of fire protection, so I should be fine. And yeah, pretty much good to go. And now we will head down and use this nether portal because this is the one near the police spawner. Okay, this is where we're going. I will sit here and wait, ready to strike. Oh, I should equip my shield. Any minute now. Also, who did this? Was this Joel? I think so. Oh, there's another portal there. And then my portal's over there. Oh, we've spawned. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you do three hearts of damage in one hit? Sir. Oh, Jesus. No, don't stay away. Ah. Oh. <gasps> There's so many things. There's so many things. What? Uh, how did it do two, two hits? Why did it do so many hearts of damage? What? Wait. That's so cool.